Hello artists and welcome back to another week in art. So last week in art, you might recall that we celebrated Earth Day, right? So all the friends in the ECC made their own little planet Earth and they turned out so cool. You might also remember that I said we're going to start a new unit. And for this new unit, we're going to talk about art around the world. So each week we will go on a new art adventure. So here's what our plan is for this week. Whoa, it appears that I am inside of a cave. And on the cave walls, I see these incredible drawings and paintings. In this one, I see animals. Ooh la la. All right, you probably already joined me for the other video this week in which I talk at more in more detail about cave paintings in France. If not, check that one out. Um, but what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna focus on making the paint to paint our own cave paintings. So nowadays, if we wanna paint, we usually just buy bottles of paint in the store, right? But a long time ago, people had to make their own paints. So here's how we are gonna make our own paints today. It's gonna to be really fun. All right, friends, so the most important ingredient in mud paint is, you guessed it, the mud or the dirt. It's probably gonna get a little messy, so you might want some sort of a rag. You're gonna want just a little bit of water. You'll also need some glue and of course some brushes to paint with. If you want your mud to be extra colorful, your mud paint, you might wanna include some tempera paint too. And of course, you're gonna need a dish or two to mix all of these ingredients up in. All right, friends, I already mixed a little bit of pink mud paint. Let's see how it turned out. Ooh la la. And I'm going to demonstrate how to mix a new color. So I have my dish here, and I'm going to take just a pinch of dirt. Here's my dirt, and I'm going to pinch it right into this little jar. So I have my dirt, and then what I want to do is I want to add just a little drop of water to make it kind of more like mud. So just a drop. I'm going to take a clean brush and mix that around so it's kind of muddy. Ooh, yes. I also want to add just a little bit of glue. So I have my white glue, I'm going to squeeze in some glue. There we go. And I'm going to mix in my glue. So in here I have dirt, I have a drop or two of water, and I also have glue. Now I can paint with this color. In fact, let's see how it turns out when I paint on this white scratch paper. Ooh la la, just like the cave painters. Now if I wanna add a little extra color to this mud paint, then I'm gonna add some tempera paint. I think I'm gonna add one drop of blue to this brown mud paint and see how it turns out. Mix, 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 mix. Let's see how it looks. If you're like me and you love to have different colors, you might want to make more than one different color of mud paint. So here I am mixing my mud paint with different colors of tempera paint. So here are my finished mud paints. For this one, I mixed in a little bit of yellow to get this color. I also have a pinkish reddish mud paint. I've got a green one, a blue one, and this last one here, it's just mud, my dirt and water, and a little bit of glue to get a brown color. Here's how they all turned out. I can't wait to start my cave painting using my homemade mud paints. Okay, now that you've made your own paints, it's time to make your actual cave painting. So if you haven't watched it yet, please check out this video for some tips 
for how to make your own cane painting. And you get to use your own paints that you created using materials in nature. That's so fun. All right, enjoy your cave painting, enjoy making your own paints, and I can't wait to see what you make. Bye.